gentlemen, welcome back to the second installment of the Value Packed Alpha M series. So yesterday, we talked about 10 items under $30 that I personally feel are awesome. Today, six more awesome items, but these items, instead of being like super crazy nuts affordable, are super crazy nuts expensive. The truth is that the word expensive is totally subjective. What I think is expensive, you might not think is so bad. The flip side, there are some things that I might not think are too bad or too nuts and you think is totally ridiculous. Today, gentlemen, I'd like to go over six things. Some are brands, some are products, some are categories of products that I personally feel are expensive but are worth the money because the value's there. Number one, All Saints Leather Jacket. So here's the deal. All Saints is a brand of clothing. They specialize in leather jackets, which in my opinion are incredibly sexy. The quality is fantastic. The leather, super soft and supple. They've also got an incredible aesthetic. The price point is also reasonable in my mind. Specific jacket I got on sale from Bloomingdale's and it was like $400 somewhere in that neighborhood. Regularly, it's gonna be around 600. I own some other leather jackets. This jacket from Coach also a super sexy leather jacket, but the cost was around $1,000. Um, it's good quality. I don't think it's necessarily any better than the All Saints. And this leather jacket from Diesel was around $900. Um, I love all three leather jackets, but honestly, in my opinion, I feel like All Saints really brings it in terms of price and value. I love leather jackets, as you can probably tell, and I wear them all winter long. They're sort of like my staple. And one of the ways that I justify expensive purchases purchases like an $800, $600,000 jacket is because I can wear it every single day if I wanted to for like 10, 15, 12 years if you buy something that's timeless and classic. And so even though you're spending a lot of money on a specific item, the per wear cost actually is pretty low as opposed to paying like $1,000 for a suit that you wear twice a year. The second expensive item is actually a technology item and that is my Google Pixel. Um, I love this phone so much, and I personally feel like it's expensive, but that being said, I think all cell phones are expensive. For the Pixel, I had like three Nexus phones. Before that, it was like another Android phone. I am not an Apple guy, and so if you're an Apple guy, there is nothing I'm gonna say that's going to convince you to switch to this, but if you are looking for an amazing phone, Check out the Pixel. This is actually the first Pixel. I have an upgraded to two. They're about to come out with three. It works, it keeps working. This thing is amazing. Number three is a shoe brand a lot of you have heard of, and that is Allen Edmonds. Allen Edmonds, they make super sexy shoes. They're super high quality, but the price is also a little bit pricey. But in my opinion, they are absolutely worth the price tag. These are a pair of Allen Edmonds unlined chuckas. These things are like butter on your feet. Um, the suede is super crazy, nuts, ridiculous soft. The sole, good your well. The leather, it's oil. So this is the, like literally, I will wear these in the summer without socks. They are that comfortable. Um, they've also seen better days. These I got from today's video sponsor, Mastrop, about a year ago. Um, those of you who have never heard of Mastrop, it is one of the coolest things out there to find incredible deals for incredible products. It's all about communities, right? They have different communities. Like they've got communities for technology, for cooking, for clothing, for watches. They've got like all these different communities. And then what people do is they vote for what product they would like to see. And about a year ago, somebody was like, yo, Allen Edmonds Chuckas. These things normally are like $500, but because they made them specially for mass drop and like a bunch of people joined the drop, they were like 240 bucks. The problem with mass drop is that once they do the drop, they're gone and you can't get them anymore unless they drop again. Gentlemen, guess what? They're back and they are incredible and I'm so excited because I was all like super stressed out. I went on Alan Edmonds website to try and find these about two months ago and I couldn't do it because they come in like a light tan. They also come in a brown. Um, but the good news is that the drop is happening again. Guys, there's a link down below to join the drop. It's going on right now. Supplies are super limited, like all the different sizes, limited. The colors, limited. There's also going to be a $10 discount, so you can get them at an even better price if you hit our special link, but you got to hit our link in order to grab them. Guys, 
These boots are game changers. <laughs> you think I'm excited? But look at this. See how, look at that. See how leather, oh, it's so freaking sexy. And the value for $240 minus 10, 230, are you kidding me? You can't beat them. I would pay literally $500 for these, but the fact that they're $240 plus a discount if you hit our link, it's like, <laughs> it's the biggest no-brainer in the history of amazing Chukka boots. The fourth item that I personally feel is incredibly power-packed with value, even though they're super expensive, diesel denim. If you would have told me that I would ever spend 200 bucks on a pair of jeans, I would have told you you were freaking nuts, but I gave them a try during one of like the shopping safaris. I was looking for jeans and I tried a pair of diesel jeans on and I was like, oh my God, where have you been my whole denim life? The thing that I love about diesel is that a lot of them do have stretch in them. The downside to a lot of brands with their stretch is that the denim falls apart super quick. I have literally lived in these jeans for about eight months and they are just getting better and better and better and better with age. Here are two other pairs that I own. Here's a dark wash not all that much distressing and another pair that is like just insanely comfortable it's like a light gray the fabric super soft the comfort ridiculous through the roof number five let's talk about watches rolex i've talked about rolex in a previous um, luxury video that I did and I am just a huge fan of Rolex for one the quality is is ridiculous the steel that they use is like state-of-the-art they are the kings in terms of luxury watches in my opinion now are there a lot of watches that are more expensive yes are Rolex is cheap no but the great thing is that you can find them pre-owned or used at an incredible price and the beautiful thing about Rolex as opposed to a lot of these other brands is that they hold their value. And last, but certainly not least, the sixth category that I warned you about, that I wanted to talk about, that can be expensive, it doesn't have to be, not at all. But I personally feel there is incredible value in any money that you spend on art that you love. I am an art lover. I suck at doing it, but I love art. And when you find something, whether or not it's a picture, a piece of pottery, a jewelry, a piece of stained glass, find something that speaks to you, your soul, and, and you love looking at, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. If you can afford it, spend it. Because the joy that you get from owning art and looking at it, it just, I can't explain it enough, but art adds a level of richness and texture to your life, to your home, to your office, to wherever you are, that it's priceless. And it's it's just priceless. I love art so much. Um, I want to just show you a few, few things. Um, that painting up there, I actually had painted, there's my cat Piglet, that is my donkey Pedro, that is St. Francis, who my grandfather was named after, the patron saint of animals, and there is another donkey that the artist Bailey Jack made after doing, um, after doing Pedro. I just love art. Here's another one. The rooster, right? Check it out. This is all pieces of encyclopedia that were cut out and she painted. That thing cost me like 20 bucks, but I love it. There's a clock, right? That's made out of old skids. It's art. Check out my office, right? Up there, pottery, limited edition Starbucks plate. I love it. There, original art. There, next to the Shark Tank memorabilia, another cool like piece of art that costs like five bucks. Another donkey, another donkey, another donkey. Cool shark. So all this stuff in my office was sort of like my gateway drug. And and then I started going to galleries and looking at other artists. And and so for my home there, there was a moose that I saw in a gallery and, and I fell in love. But I also saw a buffalo and I love that too. Art is amazing in, in the way that it makes you feel and makes your mind work, but it's just, Art's amazing, and if, if it's something that you're into and you find something that resonates with you, it doesn't have to be super expensive. Some of my favorite things were like literally $5. Just keep your eyes open, but whatever you spend on something that you love, that you can enjoy forever, as long as, as, long as you have it, I don't know. Even if it's pricey, it's, it's not expensive in my eyes. Gentlemen, thanks for watching. And um, this was fun. If you enjoyed the video, give it one of these. And down in the comments, let me know what's something that's expensive, but in your opinion, worth every penny.